Hey guys, welcome back. I know I've been MIA for a minute. I had a sinus infection. I'm still fighting it, but I'm feeling a lot better than I was. So I thought I'd post a video. Today I wanted to do an eye look. We're going to the zoo today for my daughter's 15th birthday. So I thought, well, let's get some makeup on since we're going out in public. I brushed my hair, but it's still drying. So I'll just shove that in the back. I did get a couple new products. I went and got the NYX uh, eyeliner. I absolutely love this eyeliner. This is in black sparkly. God, I love the sparkle. And then I also got the NYX dewy finish um, setting spray because I ran out. Um, they're having a sale at Myers. Buy one, get one half off. So I was like, sweet. I'll take that. You know, whatever. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is find... My eye primer. Apparently, I don't even know where that's at. We'll use this one. I haven't done my makeup in a while, so I have no idea where everything's at. I'm using the Alta Beauty Tinted Eye Primer. I'm still not sure if I like this primer or not. It's a little, I don't know, dark for my liking, maybe. I prefer like a white base eyeliner or eye primer, sorry. Because if you can tell, it kind of turns my eyes like an orangish color. And I never use brushes to put eye primer on. Most of the time, I use just my fingers. And I'm going to go into the NYX um, Wonderlust. In Los Angeles and get my base coat I just use this all over my lid to make an easy um, base for all the other eyeshadows So, what did you guys do so far this month in December? It's been pretty boring for me. I've been on vacation and sick with sinus infection, so I haven't done much in that aspect. I did do some Christmas shopping. Um, me and the hubby went out. But, you know, like you said, when you're sick, you don't really like to do anything. I've been playing with the animals and um, doing that kind of stuff. Where did I put it? Oh, it's right here. Getting closer, it would have bit me. I'm going to take my Morphe 9B. And uh, I'm going to go with the shade Now Boarding. If you've ever used these palettes, there is a lot of fallout with these palettes. But I really like them because they're so pigmented. Like, I didn't even take that much on the brush. And look at that. It already picked up a whole ton. But yeah, like I said, I really like the Morphe palette. Um, the shimmers, you gotta use wet, but they blend all right. They're highly pigmented. No complaints here. And for, I think it was, what, like 12 bucks? The price point is, like, really good. I actually didn't pay for this one. My husband bought it for me. But, you know. I'm going to go in second coat. I need to clean my brushes. They're not blending as well as I'd like them to. And it's probably just because they need to be cleaned. All the kids are at school. Where is that? Not the one I want. My whole makeup, my uh, desk is a complete mess. Like, I haven't had it this dirty in a long time. Oh, right here it is. See, I'm going searching. I use a, like, I don't know, it's like a all-over powder brush to blend in the edges on for the harsh lines because it's pretty clean on that. Um, let's go in and use some 
setting spray. I'm just doing one of my generic looks, the one I use pretty much every day. I'm going in with Sunny's in the 9B Morphe palette. And that's going to go in the inner corner slash halfway through my lid. And yeah, I'm going to add more transition shade for the crease, but um, I want to do this first because sometimes I go a little high on the color and um, it gets way up here. So that's why I wait to do my second transition shade. And um, everybody has a preference and that's just, you know, my preference. Um, finally got the Christmas tree up and the ornaments and... My birthday's here in another 11 days, so we're all planning for that, and my daughter's is today, so it's going to be a busy December just like everybody else's. It's always busy in December. Um, I want one of these. I'm going to go in with Midnight Dip, which is a shimmer dark crease shade. And put that in the V slash crease of my eye. Darken it up. You may be able to faintly hear the bird. Um, he's all the way out in the living room and he is that loud that he I can hear him all the way in my bedroom I don't know if it'll pick up on camera but I can definitely hear him for sure And I may have done a little too much on this side. Let's blend it out and hopefully it works. And then the last shade that I would like to go in with would be the Vacay Shade by the 9B Murphy Palette. Um... I like this shade because it's got like a coppery gold feel to it, but it's really pretty and I don't know, it's cool. I'm totally for this shade. If you can tell, I kind of do my eyes like one crease, one lid, one crease, one lid for two reasons. Um... One, if I mess up my crease, I can cover it up with a lid. And if I mess my lid, I can cover it up with a crease. So it's like a foolproof plan, you know? Alright, so I got the top lid pretty much done. It's pretty neutral as I said. I'm probably going to go in with a little bit more of that sunny shade because it tends to get washed out a little bit. This eye turned out a lot better than the other eye and I don't know why. I freaking hate that. I don't know if it's because I have an astigmatism in my right eye and that it doesn't it um, has more wrinkles in it. So I don't know if that affects like the applying, uh, applying of the eyeshadow because like you can tell like this one doesn't have as many wrinkles as this eye does. And you think that my right eye would be stronger because it does have the astigmatism so it has to compensate but who knows. I'm going to go back in and touch up that outer wreath. All right, I'm going to pause you, and I'm going to finish the rest of my face. I'll be back. All right, guys, so I just put my foundation and my concealer on and my powder. Um, I have not done...
friends are, so we're going to go from there. And, um, sorry, I got to move. Focus. Um, I'm using the Hula from Benefit Cosmetics. I absolutely love this bronzer. I got it in my Ipsy bag, and I've used a ton out of it, and it doesn't even look like it's been hardly even touched. Like, you could still see the wording. Because I absolutely adore this bronzer. It might be a tad dark for my skin tone, but it makes it like a honey... I don't know if you can see, it just gives it like a tint. It's not super... And you can build it up, like if you want it darker, you can make it darker. Um, I think this would be a really pretty like transition shade for your eyeshadow too because like it's got a neutral base tone to it so it's not super, I don't know, it, I think it'd be a good transition shade for your eyes. I try in this new foundation from Maybelline. I got it on sale at Ulta. Originally, it's like a $10 foundation, so it's not super expensive. But they had it on sale for um, $2.50, and I think it's because they're going to discontinue it at Ulta. I grabbed this. It's called Dream Satin Liquid uh, Hydrating Serum and Foundation. It's in 20 Classic Ivory. It doesn't say if it's a full coverage or not. I did notice when I put it on my chin, I had to do a double batch because my chin wasn't fully covered. But everything else looks like it's pretty consistent coverage. I've only wore it one other time and I didn't really wear it long enough to get an opinion. So today will be a test. I will let you know later on when I get done with my trip how it went. And uh, I'll post a separate video with my thoughts on some of the new things that I've been trying lately. Um, but like I said, I love the Hula bronzer. Um, also, just so you guys know, this is my favorite iced coffee. It's from Stoke. It's cold brew coffee, but they have a buy one get one free coupon out right now. And I've been drinking a ton of these. And this is in Mocha. They have Mocha, Vanilla, and Black. And then I think the green one is Decaf. But I've never tried the green one. The vanilla's alright, but mocha's my favorite. And I'm not into black iced coffee, so I haven't even tried that one. Um, but it's great for diabetics because it only has 24 carbs in the entire bottle. So, like, you don't really have to watch a whole... Like, diabetics, like, I have to watch all my carbs and stuff. So, like, it's nice to have that and I can have, like, a scrambled egg... And sausage and some tater tots and then I still am full but I haven't overdone it on carbs either yes tater tots are a little high on carbs but like with the iced coffee it's not gonna be like 60 carbs it's only gonna be like 40 instead which is what I usually stay around for my carb intake for some of my meals like my snacks I only do like 24 carbs so if I were to do a snack I could just have the iced coffee or just have like a oatmeal or something like that because the oatmeal I have has like 25 carbs in it but I'm gluten free and diabetic so it's nice to have options and a lot of improvements have come in the last even two years for gluten free people as well so I pro um I give um kudos to the food industry for definitely changes. So this is the Wet n Wild Icon color icon um blush. And this is in pearlescent pink. But I don't know if you can tell it ha oh there you go. It has a shimmer to it. And I absolutely adore this. It comes with a little applicator. I never use that. I have my crown brush that I use just for my blush. I like these brushes because they have a spot for your finger and your thumb. So you can hold it pretty consistent and get consistent coverage without forgetting how you held your brush. Like... Sometimes I'll be doing makeup and I'm like, God, I got that right last time. How come I can't get it right this time? So anyways, that is what I like to do. Um, 
I don't wear a ton of blush. You can actually see like my bronzer is more prevalent than my blush. I don't know if you can tell with the lighting, but this is just the blush and then this is all bronzer. And I do this for two reasons. One, my cheeks are already flushed. And two, I didn't want to look like Mimi from Drew, Drew Carey, so never put a whole ton of blush on. <laughs> I know, that's a bad reference. Totally bad. Um, Wild Wild has really stepped up their game lately. I have gotten quite a few of their products. I also have their Blossom Glow Highlighter. Um, this is an absolutely stunning, like, pink pearlescent. Um, it looks like white in the pan. But if you actually look at it, it's got a pink hue to it, which is absolutely gorgeous. So I absolutely love that. I'm going to use my Moto Pro uh, Glow BMX 265 highlighting brush. I believe this is from Lan Nicole Lank something Lancome. I don't know. Starts with an O. But you can absolutely, like, just with that little swipe, look at that highlighter. Like, that is gorgeous. Oh, and you might hear the dog in the background. He's being whiny today. That was a little much on that side. But, you know, whatever. And then I also use this up here in my brow bone just to lighten it up a little bit. Um, you can see it kind of gives it a little bit of shine, but not, like, super overpowering. Like, some of the white um, shimmer shades. Are. With the pink tone, it kind of goes with my undertone. I have a naturally flushed undertone, so it kind of just blends in with it. I cannot do orange. Um, browns are iffy, just depends. Are you all right over there? You're being goof. Look at this little goofball. He's sitting on the bed, being a goofball. Come on, focus so you can see him. There he is. Hi, Jaeger! Hi, Jaeger! Isn't he so cute? Anyways, um, yeah, he's my buddy every day when I film. He's eight and a half. He's about 80 pounds. He's a boxer. Um, he was a rescue. We got him from a friend of ours who couldn't keep him. Um, he kept him crated pretty much all the time, which kind of sucked. But he's got a nice big yard. Fenced in, he's got a whole bedroom. He's rarely in his crate. He has one, but he just goes in there and lays down and the door stays open. I don't lock it. The only time I ever lock it is if I know I'm going to be gone for more than four hours. Because he likes to eat stuff and get on my shelves. So anyways, that's Jaeger. He's my monster. Um, I just did a review on the EcoTools brushes. This was their fan brush collection, and this is the one I'm going to use for the bottom of my eye. Um, I absolutely adore this brush. Like, the edging on this is, like, so precise. Like, you can see how easy that just gets my under eye. And then you just flip it and do the other side. I will say, you do have to watch, though, because sometimes you poke yourself in the eye. But that's with any brush. But yeah, I absolutely adore this brush. And they were originally $19.99. And I got them on sale for Black Friday for $9.99, which was half off. And I was like, you know, I never tried the Eco Tools line, so I want to give it a try. And I, I will say, they're not as soft as I thought they were going to be, but they work really, really well. At least this one's not. The other ones are. This one's really good. This is their giant fan brush. Um, it's That's pretty soft. This one's soft, but it's kind of sparse, so... And then they also have this one, and this is what I used the other day for my bronzer. It works pretty good. But by far, I'd have to say this one's the softest. Um, the handles, they feel kind of cheap. They're like a bamboo wood type feeling. Really lightweight. However, I haven't seen any brush fall out. I haven't seen any chips, nothing. I've only had them a couple weeks, though. So we'll have to see how they actually perform once I get more use out of them. Like I said, Jaeger. 
He's over there drinking out of his bowl. That's one thing about having animals is they're unpredictable. You never know what they're going to do. But I wouldn't change it for the world. I could never live without animals. I'm the animal whisperer. Or at least that's what everybody says. It's like, you always have animals. Alright, so let's, if I can get this open, I have lotion on my hands, so yeah. Don't do this at home. Alright, I may have to go get the hubby to get this open. I don't know. Yeah, hang on. I'm going to pause it. So I got this off and the tip broke, so I had to re-sharpen it. But this is one of my favorite um, eyeliners to use in my lash line because they're super, um, they glide on really nicely. And um, my waterline. And you can tell they're pretty pigmented. The only thing I will say is like sometimes when you put it on it looks like it's gray and not black. But you know, no complaints. Gray, black, they all look pretty similar. Um, usually it takes me anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes to do my makeup, but when I do a tutorial, tutorial it can take me up to like an hour. Um, if you notice, I did not line my upper eyelashes with that. I use the Ico um, London. This thing is fantastic. If you look at the um, tip of this, yes, it has a chunkier tip, but it works really good. Especially because if the way I apply it is I just literally lay it on my eye. And I just go down my eye with it so it's a nice thin line. Because it's just the right width to do this with. And I just draw on the end. Now, the reason I do this is... I don't really like fat eyeliner. My eyes don't look good with fat eyeliner. So, there's one eye done and one eye not. And it's pretty even actually. Now let's do the other eye. Now I got this in my Ipsy Glam Bag and I have loved it since. And you know, it, they're not very expensive. I think they're like 18 bucks or something like that. My camera stopped focused. And it's bugging me because I'm using it to actually put on my eyeliner instead of a mirror. So, I've been watching a lot of new YouTubers and was curious if you guys had any that you guys liked, um, especially makeup tutorials and stuff. Put them down in the, uh, the <laughs> comments section because I'm always looking for new people to watch and get inspiration from. I know my channel is not, you know, that old and it's relatively... Um, only got maybe like 20 25 videos on it so I want to get more contact con content if I could talk today this would be very helpful up for you guys this mascara is the Douce or Dose um, punk volumizing mascara this one is absolutely massive and oh my god is it awesome I wasn't sure if I'd like it um, 
I have a couple other Dose products and um, I'm not a fan of their eyeshadow. They're really chalky, to me at least, um, each their own. Um, but I absolutely love their mascara and I have naturally long lashes so that's cool for me. I only use it on my top lashes though because the wand is so big. On my bottom lashes I just take the uh, Tarte, the Tardis lash paint because it's got a nice um, little wand. And this doesn't tend to flake on me. Some of the mas er, yeah, mascaras I use little flake on me and I really hate under eye flakes so that's why I like this and yes this is just a travel size but it's perfect because the wine's little and tiny and look it's so tiny I don't use a whole ton of mascara anyways so they last me forever I have one two three four five six I have like seven different mascaras in here that I've been using and I've I haven't even started opening them all my camera does not want to focus. So, let me put some setting spray on and then we'll be done. Now, I've repurchased this two or three times. The NYX Dewy Finish. I've also tried the matte finish, but my skin is dry, so I prefer the dewy finish. But, definitely recommend that if you guys want to try something that's affordable. I believe it's like $8.50. But, like I said, I got the eyeliner and that. The eyeliner was 8 that was eight fifty, so I got both of them for about twenty or what, twelve? Twelve bucks. So can't beat that. But this is a finished product. Um like I said, it's a natural everyday look. I don't really go overboard. And if you notice, my lips are pretty nude. Usually what I do is I just put chapstick on and a lip gloss. Because I don't like drying lips. But I really do like this um, matte liquid lip from Ulta, and I've worn this quite a bit. It's in brick red, or brick, but yeah, it's really pretty too. But it wouldn't go with this look. Um, most of the time, I just stick with like a, a nude lip. But you guys have a good Friday, and I will see you all later on. I'm going to try to post one on Sunday as well, because I am on vacation, get a couple more videos up this week. Um, let me know if you guys like this, comment in the section below and hit the notification bells and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to doing more tutorials and for you guys to watch. Thanks guys. Bye.